Hey guys, what's going on? As promised, Bass Boat Tour 2015. A lot of this stuff that I've done to the boat, I have separate videos on, but we'll just kind of go over it real fast, just in case you guys didn't see one of those videos. I know there's a few things that I didn't do a video on. But this is a 2009 Bass Tracker Protein 175 TXW. I will start from the back, move our way up front. I'll show you guys what I can show you from outside the boat, and then I'll go ahead and get in and show you guys what's in the compartments. All right, back here. Got the mercury cover. It's two stroke, 50 horse merc. We have boat buckles on here. Got to have these. One click unlocks them. Take them off. Couple clicks. Good to go. A uh, new transom saber on here. This one has a spring in it. If you guys are going to put this on here, this uh, nipple or whatever you want to call this here that's on the trailer, it does not fit inside this tube. So I took it off. You can kind of see some marks on here. I took it off and I just filed it down until it fit inside this tube here. It worked out pretty good though. But I really wanted this one on here, so that's why I did it. But you can see it's got, a, it's got a spring in it. Absorb some shock. Okay, we have the transducer mounting plate. Got a video on that. Let's see here. Let's go up front. Dakota Edge 55. We got a uh, rod strap up here. I keep a buoy, my wire. Once in a while, I'll put the pliers on there. We have the Hummingbird 899. Got a video on this. It's got a side scan, down scan, all that good stuff on there. You guys can see, let's put these on today actually. Carpet Graphics. Final Images did a killer job on those. Definitely check them out, guys. I also have shirts that just came out yesterday, so you guys can uh, check those out as well. I'll put the link in the description below. I'm at the console here. You guys seen this one before? Hummingbird 598. Side imaging, down scan, all that good stuff. Console itself is pretty simple. Um, in here, we got lipless, a couple boxes of sport bills. Most of these are just bombers. Two different ones in here Lucky Craft, Coppers, KVDs. retriever this one I can empty right now usually I just keep a bunch of cords and my camera things like that in there all right guys back hatch we have a 21 gallon gas tank a few of you guys have asked the size batteries I have here these are the biggest size in the series that I bought here both interstate the cranking battery is a 27 M dash XHD and the trolling battery is an SRM 29 so great batteries there from there, you guys all seen a live well before. 16 gallon live well. Got the Cusco 2 tackle system on here. In case I want to hang something up there. Bus seat. Alright, check out underneath the seats. Let's see here, under this seat. This is something else I did. You guys may have not have seen. Bought these containers at Walmart. And I cut them down to the size that would fit, or the seats, it's so close. I just put some black trim around there. But that way, whatever I put underneath there is on sliding all around, it's all contained. I just have some towels, a couple spare props, big first cords, bungee cord, things like that. Here we got some sunglasses. If you guys are interested in solar baths, I do have a code to get, uh, I think, what is it, 20% off? Mm -hmm. For, I think the code is what JVL. Yes. It's 20% off. You guys can contact me to get free shipping and no tax. But either way, definitely check those out. There's some baits I was using last time out. Bluetooth speaker. In case fishing's slow, put on some jams. I got my uh, what do you call these things? These eyes here. Just strap down a tripod. Or I do it in the back. I do have a video on that though. How I, how I uh, strap down the tripod. Keep a buoy here. This seat, some more glasses, uh, lure retriever stuff, bag of terminal tackle, big Ferg's cords. This is a new a, uh, pull rope, pull cord for the trolling motor. That was one I was testing out for him last year. This is the new one. 
I need to put that on and try that one out. Definitely check out Jeff's channel. I'll put that in the description as well. We're just seeing this stuff. Move this stuff back here real fast. Okay, like I said in the video on this boat mace thing here, this is really one of my favorite upgrades right here. I mean, it's so convenient to sit down here, work on tackle, grab whatever tools you need. A few of you guys asked about this one as well. Same deal, made by boat mates. You can put uh, whatever you want to put in here. I got some KVD spray in here, pliers, and then you can hang whatever baits on there, let them dry out or whatever. So that's pretty cool. I really like this section. I'm sure you guys have seen this too, some of you have. Some DT baits I keep in there. DT sixes, DT ten, shad wraps. Okay. Keep a couple pairs of shoes on here. A pair of Zico's, a pair of sandals. Whatever shoes that I'm walking to the boat with, I never get in the boat with them. Just because I don't like track dirt and tar and all that in the boat. I always take them off before I get in and put one of those pair of shoes on. Yes, I'm picky. But, guess what it is. <laughs> Alright, this compartment here. Cook's go-to tackle system. I have nothing on there right now. Tripod. Let's see what's in here. Rage. Draws. Yum chunks, stuff like that. Let's see your micro frogs. Guy do you have PTL craw nerves, pit bosses, a bunch of chigger craws. I'm not too loaded up right now, but that's what I was using last time out. Go to this side. All right, Cook's go-to tackle system again. Got a bunch of spinner baits on there, and here I got my life vest, throw cushion, bumpers, uh, seat post down in there. Then just some miscellaneous stuff here, rage bugs, and all sorts of goodies in there. Keep my ruler here. I don't fish tournaments, but once in a while I'll still measure a fish for the hell of it. In the center, again, Cook's go to tackle system. Got some new jigs on there, spinner baits, jigs, and all that stuff. In here, you can see that. We got a bunch of scent in here, markers. I know I got some uh, band aids in here, wacky, <laughs> wacky rig stuff. Uh, Gulp, glue, mend it. So wave away. Sunscreen, more band-aids here. Keep uh, some dye markers. I was using these for a while. Now I just take JJ's. I keep some Arden swabs in here if I want to do like real small detail stuff. Just dip this in the JJ's, and I can mark on the baits or whatever. Hog tonic. Fish sticks. Splizzers, just some miscellaneous baits. THK awake baits. A few top waters, treble hooks, drop shot, wacky rig stuff. PTL tungsten. Another box of tungsten. I did cut this out, you guys probably seen that video too. I don't have anything stored back there right now. My hook, shaky heads, terminal tackle, scale. So normally this compartment's a lot loaded, or loaded up a lot more than this, but... And that's about it. The uh, Easy Troll tray, I got a video on that. Recess the foot pedal there. Got the cool foot on there. And guys, that should be about it. Go ahead and scan the wrap, won't we? Zoom in on it. Got that done last week. Final Images just did a killer job on that. All the different companies I work with on YouTube, New Tech, Boomerang Tool, Mr. Tackle Box, Boca Barian, JJ's Magic, Dobbins. I don't work with Tracker or Daiwa, but I wanted them on there. Bay Buttons, Power Team Lures, of course, Cook's Go To Tackle System, Solar Bat, and Rod Gloves. So, guys, that is the Bass Boat Tour 2015. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, 
give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll talk to you soon.